Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel A Monk in Cloud. In this video, I'm going to break down HTTPS that is Hypertext Transfer Port Protocol secure in this video. Okay, so basically HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP protocol used to transmit data over the internet, right? That is the first thing that we need to understand. It provides secure communication between client example uh, for the client can be a browser and a server example it can be a web server right by encrypting the data that is being transmitted and ensuring the authenticity and integrity of the data that is very important these two terminologies play a vital role in your answer right so here is how http works basically right basically a client request to access a secure website by sending an https require request to the server basically for example youtube youtube uh, you can uh, use browser to you know access youtube right so basically this is my browser and i am accessing uh, youtube via browser so if i click on this video this video will be stored in youtube server right so that is what the first point says the client requests to access a secure website by sending an https request to the server now when you click on that video the uh, you know the request will reach the youtube server right then the server responds with a digital certificate so the server will respond back with a digital certificate which contains information about the identity of the website and the public key of the server then the client verifies the authenticity of the certificate by checking it against a trusted third party certificate authority so whenever the uh, whenever the client gets the certificate from the server the first thing that it will do is it will verify the authenticity of the certificate by checking it with a third party certificate authority if the certificate is valid then the client will generate a secret key and sends that secret key to the server encrypted with the server's public key right so then what happens the server uses its private key to decrypt the secret key and establish the encrypted connection between the client and server so this is where this is where the encrypted connection will happen basically the data is then transmitted between the client and server in an encrypted form ensuring that it cannot be intercepted or modified in transit so no one can modify while the data is getting transferred at the end of communication the secret key is discarded and a new one is generated for the next communication so this is very important if you don't discard the secret key so anyone with the secret key can access it right so that is very important here so this process ensures the data transmitted over https is encrypted and secure and the identity of the website and the server are also verified so this helps to prevent unauthorized access protect sensitive information and ensure the integrity of data being transferred over the internet so whatever i told you here the same thing i have you know uh, documented in a you know in a diagrammatical way or a flow chart you can consider yeah, so this is not a, exactly a flow chart you can consider a simple diagram right so basically if you observe here client is uh, requesting access to the secure website and this is in turn uh, redirected to the server then the server will send the digital certificate with the public with the server's public key then the client will verify the certificate with the ca certificate authority so if the certificate is very verif verified that means if it is a valid certificate then what happens a secret key will be generated which is encrypted with the server's public key right so then what happens the server uh, can uh, decrypt that secret key using the public key so pub 
sorry private key so the private key will be within the server itself so it can use the same private key to decrypt the secret key so after the decrypting the secret key you can establish the encrypted connection and uh, if you establish the encrypted connection what happens the data transmission will be easy so if you remember this one right so you will be able to crack any interview easily so commonly asked questions are how https work how what is the difference between http and https so if you are able to understand this concept well you would be able to presenting it easily right so if you are attending cloud or devops interview don't be uh, don't be like they will ask questions only on aws azure gcp or your devops tools like jenkins ansible and all so you can also expect questions on these kind of areas right what is http what is H ssh how would you connect how https work so these things you need to understand so what i'm doing every day i'm going to record some of the basic technological questions that you can expect in the cloud or devops interview right the same thing i have explained here if you see in this diagram the client request access to a secure website and the server responds with a digital certificate which contains information about the identity of the website and the public key of the server then what happens the client verifies the authenticity of the certificate by checking it against a third party certificate authority right so then if the certificate is valid the client generates a secret key and sends it to the server encrypted with the server's public key so the server uses its private key to decrypt the secret key and establish a encrypted connection between the client and server so after establishing the connection you can transmit the data between the client and server in an encrypted form so ensuring that it cannot be intercepted or modified in transit right so this process helps to ensure the security and privacy of data transmitted over the internet and it also provides a secure communication channel between the client and server right so if you just have this you know uh, diagram with you or if you have this png with you that is enough for the interview so i have made it available on my github repository so if you want to download it you can just right click and click on save image or uh, save image or or anything and you can keep it in your laptop so whenever an interview is there you can just watch this and you can uh, easily understand the difference right so that's it i had for today's video if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one